cancel this section, guys. Yo, guys, we just spent $240 at Pavilions. Woo! This might be the biggest receipt that we've ever had at a grocery store. You know what I think the key is, guys? Pavilions is like a throwback to like the old days of America. Guess what South Pasadena used to be a long time ago, like 1937? Farm. Like a farming farm. community. Yeah, like a, but like, like, like I think like a nice one. Oh yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Guys, we have everything from pasta to sushi, to charcuterie, to beautifully, decorated cupcakes and donuts, all types of dessert. No, basically, Pavilions is a upper middle class white people market. No, but it's it's specifically of the same family as Vons and Albertsons, but just one level up. Welcome to another episode of Fung Bros Food Grocery Store Review Edition. Guys, we have covered all types of grocery stores, so now we're reviewing Pavilions. Ch chili, chili olives. olives. Oh, was stuffed with cheese. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Mm. Nell turned into an olive. He ate the olive and turned into one. This is not good, guys. I'm sorry. Calabrese. Mm. A little spicy, salty. Got some of that, that cheese. Pepperoni flavor. Genoa, Genoa salami. salami. <laughs> I like calabrese. the calabrese. More spice to it. Calabrese. I love calabrese in those Italian subs too. Soprasata. Not that spicy. Dry, Dry salami. salami. Now, what's the word on the jacuterie with brie? I, I thought the calabrese might have been the best one. The, yeah, yeah, the first one definitely is the best one. I got Teddy's cream soda. You got apple cider vinegar soda. Now, what you got? I got ginger. Beer, cranberry mule. Yo, I'm really excited about this. I love vinegar. Trade me. Yo. Trade me. No, I don't want you to make a trade. To be Come all on. making a put the Nell has again. an excuse. Nell has an excuse for the rest of the video. Cheers to pavilions. Or as we should call it, pavies. Pavies. Oh, you'll definitely not like that one. You'll <laughs> hate that one now. <laughs> oh. This tastes I like I thought it had sugar in it. Woo! <laughs> No sugar in this one. This tastes like all sugar though. Vegetable, Vegetable samosa. samosa. That's pretty solid. Yeah, it's good. Not bad. Flavor's good. Flavor's good, but skin kind of hard, huh? Yeah, well, it's cold, so you know, you're probably supposed to like bake it or microwave it, but it's all good. I like the crunch that's inside of it. What do you think it is? Is there's that a beef? rice, there's, there's like there's carrots. carrots, there's potato. Three out of five. I'm gonna leave some room for improvement, but it wasn't bad. I'm gonna try this one first before I give them both a score. Okay. Chicken, Chicken samosa. samosa. Something about the vegetarian one I actually like more for this one. Yeah. Yeah. More diverse flavors. But I say I give the chicken one 3.5 and the vegetarian three out of five. I'm so rolling barely. with the vegetarian one. That chicken one to me gets a 2.5. Wow. I give yeah. that chicken one a four. Wow, see? Like what? Weird. Weird. Sushi section. Try to say that five times fast. Sushi section, sushi section, sushi section, sushi section. Ponzu dressing? Very interesting. Supermarket sashimi. Yo, that was good. Surprisingly, Yo. sashimi? That's the first time I had sashimi. That was actually way better than I thought. That was like a salmon belly. Wow. Five. 4.5 out of five wow. on the salmon sashimi. Yeah, I get a four out of five. Crunchy, Crunchy roll. roll. I mean, to be honest, guys, this has the same ingredients as uh, many poke bowls. So, poke bowls. So, I mean, honestly, it's like the same thing. Mm. It is not it. the same thing as a poke bowl. I said it has a lot of the same ingredients. Yeah. You said it was the same. No, much I, the same said, I said, I said, I Rewind said. Rewind that. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, it's like the same thing. Supermarket, Supermarket nigiri. nigiri. Look at how you're supposed to dip it. Look, with the top. There we go. Just like Jiro Dreams of Sushi said. It wasn't as good as those two. No, the sashimi the roll was, was better. That, that roll tastes like a roll at a restaurant. Yeah. 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 Spicy tuna avocado roll. Dude, your face has already said a thousand words. The sweet chili sauce is very overpowering. Mm. 
Yeah, see, you made the same face too. I, I, that wasn't a face of disgust. I was confused. Overall, I thought that there were some high points and low points. Yeah. The nigiri from the AFC, you know, third party vendor was uh, pretty bad. You would say low, medium, high. That's how it would go. Guys, I'm going to say the AFC sushi for a grocery store. For an American grocery store, I would give it a surprisingly high four out of five. Wow. I think for supermarket, you guys just want a quick fix on sushi, I'd give it a three out of five. It's solid. <clears throat> solid. I give it a 3.5. Okay. All right, guys. I want to try. I want. I want. I want to show you guys something that I'm actually excited about. These are called the uh, Austin Blue Smoke Rib Tips. Hot. Four. Five ninety nine per pound. David, would you take one? Austin, Austin Blue, Blue Smoke, Smoke Rib, Rib Tips. Tips. What a name. Only at pavilions. Smoky. Mmm. The fine people of South Pasadena. Wow. Command only the finest rib tips. Did you guys know that South Pasadena has been considered like the last remaining white zone in the 626? It's yeah. really funny because, David, South Pasadena is five minutes away from where we live and we live in the Asian zone. So it just goes to show you how neighborhoods can change and how South Pasadena actually as a neighborhood has made a concerted effort to keep the culture that it's always had. And that's not wrong. It's nothing wrong with that. Fried, Fried chicken. chicken. Oh yeah, look at that. Very bready, crunchy. It could use more flavor in my opinion. All right, let me try just the skin by itself. As a fried chicken expert, I yeah. would say it's disappointing. Lack of flavor. Really? The, the meat is uh, dry, as you can see. You can look at it even for a dark meat piece. You can see that it's very dry. I got a good breast. These are good breasts. You can tell by the skin, it's very golden. I think the quality was there. For me, just the spicy, the spices wasn't. Okay. I, mean, I give mine a 3.5. 3.5? You give it a 3.5? Yeah. I give it a 2.5. Wow. wow. You actually did not follow the scientist's test. You're supposed to eat the drum and you went for the wing. Yeah, I thought you were a drum. But the guy. wing has a drum too. No, that's no. a drumette, bro. That's the drumstick. Jeez. Fried chicken expert right here. <laughs> Fried chicken expert. Yeah. Guys, big chicken. Oh my, yo, I, this is rock hard. <laughs> you know what, I had a bad piece, bad breast meat. What can I say though, I can only judge it off, judge it off what I have. My thigh, I give it a four. Give me that thigh, bro. Oh, that is pretty good. Well, I give it four, you guys don't have to score it. Three out of five. Yeah, this, was, this was rough five. too, it was two out of five. Guys, this is mango habanero chicken from Pavilion. Watch this pool. Yeah, this looks good. Give it a three. For me, I'm just saying, based Here. off what I know. You guys can share this, I bet it's amazing. I give it a four out of five. Yeah? Wow. Facts. No, they're, you know what it is? They did thigh pieces really well. Yo, let's I'm gonna give you guys my speed review. Spicy wing, it's a spicy wing. Spicy wing's all right. Jojo was strong. Regular Jojo wing. Jojo was cool though. I don't even want to try this regular wing. Regular wing. Struggling. Mango habanero. Who's going in? You. Cancel this section, guys. <laughs> Superfood kale. Spinach Caesar. Broccoli. Paella. Paella. Quinoa. Pesto. Antipasta. Deviled egg potato salad. Shall we? I'm nervous. Hey, mommy, can you That's good. That's good. Pesto. Pesto. Mmm. <clears throat> not as good. Same. I'm moving on to paella. Nah, paella was all right. Solid? I mean, it had good flavoring. Trying the antipasta. Let's go. Antipasta. More than the pesto. Antipasta. That was all right. Double egg salad. This is... I got high hopes for this one. Wow, that double egg salad is pretty good. Mmm. Guys, I got to roll with the quinoa edamame salad. Something... You know, as white, California, very, very California, and the deviled egg potato salad. I back that up. I like the pesto. Not my favorite, but I'm just saying we're not giving it up credit. Yeah, you guys are talking down on it like it's just trash. That pesto, I will tell you this, it was very solid and of the better tier. It's of a top pesto. three for sure. I mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. No, it's bland. It's bland. Yeah, it's bland. Very bland. Very bland. Damn. They needed about. 
in my opinion, 430% increase on sharp cheddar. But it, it's not <sighs> bad though. Like, it don't taste disgusting or nothing. No, but, but, but. It just tastes like nothing. Like I don't normal. know why so like... much supermarket mac and cheese has been disappointing. Look at this freaking broccoli. You think I'm going to eat this? I am. Broccoli salad. That one wasn't bad. Spinach Caesar. It wasn't bitter or anything. Sometimes that broccoli salad can be bitter. Spinach Caesar is a little strong. But I appreciate the effort. One last specialty item before we get into the dessert. Indian candy. Not bad. Yeah. You know, I would say as somebody that's from the Seattle region, um, where good cheap salmon proliferates quite uh, readily, it's tough to feel impressed by that, especially at $24 a pound. But it's not bad. Shout out to the Northwest with the smoked salmon. Muckatio. Yo, let's get some forks out. Let's go get dessert. These desserts are amazing looking. Yo, let's try this pyramid cake. Yeah, or what used to be left of it. That what? Is hilarious, bro. Oh, because it used to be refrigerated. Yo, wow, that's, that's really good. super chocolatey. <gasps> Would you th say that it's safe to say that this is almost symbolic of the difference between Vons and the Pavilions? I gotta try this candy apple, bro. Donut's very interesting. It just tastes like a chocolate donut. It's like I'm holding a whole like planet on a stick, like I'm Thanos. They sell bulk gourmet cookies for $14.99 a pound. Jeez. Oh, man, I don't. David, you just pick one for me, man. Gourmet, gourmet cookies. cookies. All right, I'm gonna break this up. I think this is, uh, if you made me guess, peach or apricot filling right this here. This is a uh, pecan. Hey, Ethel, how do you like your apricot Ooh. gourmet cookie? I, I thought the apricot filling was quite nice. It was really sweet and very chewy. But the, the crumbly uh, butter cookie here, shortbread cookie, uh, no, I'm not a huge fan of. Hey, Edith, how do you like your pecan swirl? I think it's just too sweet for my liking. But it's very crispy. Wait, what do you think about your cookie? Uh, what's wrong? What? That's clearly European in origin. Right, right. <laughs> clearly. Like many things in South Dakota. This is mad interesting. European though, in origin. Man. All right, you guys, these are gourmet cookies from what appears to be Germantown, circa 1961. I don't know. Yeah. Even in Germany, we wouldn't like this. Yo, I gotta try this chocolate one though. I love brownies. Straight up, let me say that. I love brownies. I don't know if this is a brownie, but this looks like something chocolatey. Oh my gosh, this sucks. <laughs> Socks. Yo, this this bread crumb was so bad. It Socks. like dried my mouth out. Jumbo cupcakes designed by Pavilion employees. Chinese, Chinese American. Same. Is it Same. relevant? Oh. Overall, it was cool, but it really was more about the look than. Yeah. I mean, kind of like a like a hot chick with no personality. If there's one dessert, in my opinion that looks amazing, but tastes just average, it is macarons. Mm. That is my opinion. A majority of them, though. They are they're so overrated. Some of them are good, though. Some of them are interesting. All right, everybody has to guess what flavor they have. Three, okay. two, one. Definitely tangerine. This is chocolate. That's very chocolate. Chocolate what? I can't. I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Orange creamsicle. Blueberry. Blue? No. No, I know what that is. Coconut. Nutella. Nutella? Yeah. Raspberry. Tiramisu. Pistachio fire. Butter? Almond butter? I'm guessing lemon. This is mass sour. <laughs> Rose. Okay. Rose. Coffee. Oh yeah, those macarons weren't bad. They weren't bad, but I those just Those were good macarons. Those were probably like better than a lot of the more aesthetic ones that yeah, I had. Yeah, yeah. As we try the almond Mars Capone. We everybody has to pick their favorite dessert, and then everybody has to give takeaways on pavilions. I was most impressed visually by the cupcakes, okay. but the taste was nothing special. Okay. My favorite things flavor-wise were the caramel apple and the melted chocolate pyramid. That caramel apple was great. You As a like surprise it. to you guys, I like the macaroon. Thank you everybody for watching that video about pavilions. Like I said, pavilions 
Pavilion, Pavilion, Pavies. Pavies. Pavies is a is another grocery store chain. It is the premium version of Vons. It is owned by the same parent company. This is our last supermarket episode. We're really? actually officially ending it today. Let's wow, just... man, it was a great run. I, we must have eaten like hundreds, if not maybe even a few hundred items that I have never eaten before. And I gotta say, it's definitely a, it's a crazy experience. The game is a lot deeper than I thought because it, it, it goes into distribution factors and people doing uh, company buyouts to try to lower costs. Hey, did you know, really guys, that supermarkets, you think, oh, you just throw stuff on shelves and sell it. It's actually very, very intricate. Everything yeah, so many down, algorithms. Everything down to the products that they place in the middle, to the top, to the bottom shelf, they're all thought out. It's very, very intricate. They have so much data, guys. Yo, be honest. Last question, and we're out. Which one was your favorite? I'm gonna say Viarta was my actually my, the most interesting. What was your favorite? Well, it has to be Bristol Farms. Then. Albertsons. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Bristol Farms. They have steaks you can buy, and like they'll grill it for you, and it's Lobster just. Tails too. Yeah. Yo, I gotta say, in a way, it's like a magical place that I want to go to again. What was but the I most Disneyland like? But I actually cannot guarantee that I'll even go there again. It's just so out of my zone. Please let us know in the comment section below out of the supermarket review section series that Hop Hop Boys did, which one was your favorite. We are bringing it to a conclusion. Until further notice, you guys, thank you so much. The Low Bros will continue. Guess what, you guys? Guess where we're going in a day? Where, David? Shanghai! Oh.